Research into Parkinson's disease has a long history at Lund University. From Nobel Prize winner Arvid Carlson's revolutionary discovery of dopamine in 1957 to the world's first brain cell transplants in the late 1980s. Financed by the Swedish Research Council, Multipark is a strategic research area that aims to maintain that legacy. The Multipark family consists of four larger groups of researchers. We call them nodes. The clinical node is all about the patient, and Bjorn Helkvist is one of them. He's also a professional ice hockey coach and a part of Multipark as an external board member, helping to define future goals for Parkinson's research in Lund. For me, having Parkinson's, it's of an extreme importance that we continue to do a lot of research, uh, both on curing Parkinson's and also how we treat Parkinson's patients today. I think it's important to involve patients early in uh, research in every project because the patient is really what it is about. It's not about Parkinson's, it's about the patient that has Parkinson. In the clinical node, science becomes practice. Our clinical researchers act as a link between advanced experimental science and the real-life situations of patients. Well, some of the clinical uh, research node goals are uh, to perform uh, the first stem cell transplantations in Parkinson's disease, gene therapy in Parkinson's disease, and also to develop new ways of monitoring patients. Today, several drugs are available to treat Parkinson's disease, but their effects often diminish over time. Well, I hope to be able to realize that uh, both clinical observations can be studied in a uh, very ex uh, experimental setting and very thorough, but also to be able to bring novel techniques into clinical useful uh, techniques for patients. Research in the experimental node is focused on uncovering the underlying disease mechanisms of both Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Essential research has to be done. For example, the, the, the treatment that is uh, effective, that comes back from you know, dopamine, uh, which was discovered here uh, you know, over 50 years ago, um, gives side effects. If you take it after several years, you can get increased movements, dyskinesias, and so one group uh, at Multipark focuses on coming up with better treatments to reduce these side effects. Another major aim is to diagnose patients earlier, to know uh, how, who has Parkinson's, to, if you have a clinical therapy, to be able to follow how is that therapy is it benefiting patients, so you want to develop novel methods of brain imaging. One key line of research focuses on derived human neurons for brain cell transplantation in humans. Clinical trials are already underway, and, if successful, may very well usher in an era of new treatment possibilities for Parkinson's. A few years ago, another important discovery was made here at Multipark. My group had a big breakthrough two years ago when we managed to show that you could take human fibroblasts, so cells that you can obtain from the skin, and then by delivering a set of genes to these uh, fibroblasts, we could turn them into functional dopamine neurons. So in the long term, we hope to take the cells that we create in a dish and then transplant them into the brain of an individual with Parkinson's disease. Um, and that way we can replace the neurons that were lost and then restore uh, the brain so that we cure the disease. The strength of Multipark is that it brings researchers together from very different areas of expertise. The Health and Care Sciences node focuses on the life situation and the daily life of patients. Based on the patient's experiences, they develop interventions that will be transformed into clinical practices to improve life. Multipark is unique in the sense that we are collaborating uh, from experimental research over to clinical research and research on health sciences and aging. Even if uh, research is being performed elsewhere in the world in those more isolated disciplines, what we do is that we utilize the synergies and the challenges through the entire research chain. 
that is a strength and that is unique. To boost innovation, Multipark sponsors exciting new discoveries that have the potential to make it to the marketplace. The Multipark Innovation Group helps young scientists to move from a bright idea to a commercial product. Roger Olson is coordinator of the fourth node in Multipark, chemical biology and drug discovery. Uh, we are quite young node, started like last year. Uh, bringing in drug discovery into the multipark and try to translate the basic research to the patients to get a drug discovery approach for the uh, basic findings. I joined the uh, multipark coming from industry after 15 years in biotech uh, due to the, the whole setup of a center for all the expertise within one field, the focus of one disease having everything from basic research, molecules, drug discovery, to patients, basically, and beyond patient to rehabilitation. Today, medicines uh, treat the motor symptoms fairly good. Uh, what is missing is the treatment of non-motor symptoms, like uh, depression, cognition, and psychosis. And that is what we hope to establish some kind of treatment for that. Within Multipark, researchers share highly advanced technical platforms. For sorting and analyzing cells, as well as for molecular screening, research groups have access to state-of-the-art equipment. The amperometry platform allows for real-time visualization of synaptic firing in animal models. With even more key infrastructure on the way, Multipark is making sure that all research groups have access to excellent technology. When the researchers come to me, they all have different questions that I need to help them solve. That's a challenge to me to make them able to answer their question using these techniques. And for the patient Bjorn Helkvist, the most important thing is that the treatments of symptoms become more accurate and individualized. The care that we have today for Parkinson's patients I think is pretty good. Uh, I'm doing okay today, I'm going to do this good for the rest of my life. And to be able to be this good, we have to step, step it up another level. We have to be even more accurate which, what kind of medications to give to certain uh, individuals.